Nope or nope. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Torres and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and sneakers. And today we're kicking it back with another Dope or Nope. If you're new to this channel, Dope or Nope is this little segment that I like to do that covers future sneaker releases and we're going to determine whether the sneakers are dope or nope. So without further ado, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's get right into this list. All right, our first sneaker on this list, and it's one that I think is incredibly interesting, it's the Jordan 4 Do It Yourself. So I'm a little mad that they don't have this sneaker in adult sizes because that would be absolutely sick. So it looks like the idea behind the Jordan 4 Do It Yourself is they made a Jordan 4 where they want you to customize them. Which is really, really cool, but why is it only in grade school? So real quick, the styling of the sneaker looks like it's primarily white with a lot of black trim on there. And we also see some uh, cement print on the sole. Pretty cool. And also where the cages are, there's some like funky little uh, patterns on there. I guess that's open for customization also. I guess that's where we're supposed to customize this sneaker a lot too. Even if it didn't have this whole do-it-yourself aspect of the sneaker, this is actually a very fire looking Jordan 4. The release date on these sneakers are gonna be August 19th with a retail price of $150. Once again, only grade school sizes right now. Please, for the love of God, release adult sizes. I do think that the Jordan 4s will sell out and give a fair amount of resale. I mean, probably over $200 for the grade school sizes. If it was the men's sizes, definitely they would go over $300, maybe close to, you know, same amount with the white Oreos are doing. Maybe just a little bit under, you know, I don't think they're that good looking, but they do have a cool concept. And my final opinion of these sneakers, they're absolutely dope. Cool. I really like the idea behind this. Alrighty, our next sneakers on this list, we have an undefeated collab releasing. We have undefeated, undefeated, undefeated. Dunks and Air Force One, both featuring this kind of like bluish snake pattern on it. However, the Dunks are styled a little differently. They have purple and this kind of really dark and yellowed cream on there with a suede swoosh logo. Looks really, really nice. And then the Air Force One has kind of like the reverse of that. Not even like it's completely different, but still has that snake skin blue on there, but it's for the swoosh logo. Everything else is kind of like this off white cream and whites. It looks really decent. Which one of them I like better? Obviously the Dunks, just I don't know why these Air Force Ones had a release with them. They just kind of don't look as good. Both of them have different sorts of materials on there, including snakeskin leather, leather, and some suede. These sneakers are planning to release on August 20th with the retail price for both of the sneakers, $120. These sneakers probably will sell out and get a fair amount of resale, you know, uh, undefeated clubs normally do. And that's where I think they're gonna float around. They could go higher, but who knows? And my final opinions for these sneakers? Ah, they, they are really different looking sneakers, but you know what? No, it's really kind of dope. Our next sneaker on this list, we have the Air Jordan 12 Grinds. So as we move it towards the fall, we're gonna definitely start seeing more and more fall sneakers like this. Cause trust me, if these sneakers released in the summertime, these would definitely have been sitting on shelves. It's not that it's bad, it just has, you know, very different styling. That doesn't really vibe with summer well. For instance, it's all black with kind of a navy blue sole with some trim uh, of orange on there. You know, like the tongues of the sneaker kind of reminds me of kind of like the Starfish uh, Jordan 4s. They kind of have that black and orange vibe. Bit of uh, normal Jordan 12 materials, what we're used to seeing. So we have suede and leather. These sneakers are planning on releasing on August 21st with the retail price of $190. Will these sneakers sell out? Uh, probably, yeah, maybe. But resale cannot be that high. I say it'll just go maybe just above over maybe 200 to maybe 230 at max, but not much after it. You know, these are definitely not as good looking as the twist, so I don't think they're gonna perform as well as the twists. And my final opinions of the sneaker, you know, I'm not really rocking with them to be honest with you. I think this is gonna be the first nope on this list. It's just that's a little too off with the styling for me. These next sneakers on our list are definitely a must cop for all, but especially me because I'm a huge Jordan 4 collector. It's the Jordan 4 Lightnings. Well, what can we say about this sneaker? I mean, it's one of the holy grails of Jordan 4. It's the freaking Lightnings. 
One of the greatest yellow shoes ever made. Has to be. I'm so glad I released into the sneaker because now I get the chance to have them. Well, what does Thither say about the sneaker? It's an awesome yellow base sneaker with your trims of black and white and just all comes together so nicely. The materials better be nice on this, all right? This better be some nice, you know, nubuck or suede or whatever this is. It better be nice. It's been 15 years since the last release of this sneaker. I was only like four years old, but now they're releasing again on August 28th with the retail price of $200. This sneaker will sell out for sure, and the resale price, <coughs> it's gonna be pretty high. These will definitely probably do better than the white others for sure. This is gonna be $300, maybe $400 plus on the resale. Definitely a must cop. My final opinion of the sneaker, I mean, come on, it's dope. It's the lightnings, it's dope. Alrighty, our next sneaker on this list, it's the Nike Dunkai 1985 Acid Wash. Not too sure about the history behind this sneaker, but it definitely looks like the sneaker comes out beat up from the box. I mean, we have all those yellow and kind of those creamy whites on there with some fades of black and white, which looks like it's been kind of bleached off a little bit with a black swoosh logo. Materials used on the sneaker, it looks like it's going to be using Nike Dunk leather. These sneakers will release on August 28th with the retail price of, ooh, not available, but it's probably going to be like around 100, maybe 120-ish. I mean, Nike Dunks, they all pretty much sell out. And the resale price, it'll probably be maybe, I'll say 180 to maybe 230 on these. You know, I think these things will do, you know, decently well. And my final opinions of this sneaker, they kind of look like the Ben and Jerry just a little bit, you know? But not enough to make these sneakers a dope, and I don't really like the styling of these, so these ones are nope for me. <laughs> Alright, so for our last sneaker on this list, it's one that I like, but I wish it released earlier. It's a Yeezy, it's the Yeezy 350 Lite. Well, why wouldn't these drop in like the beginning of the summer? It would be perfect, but it's fall now, and we don't need this sneaker. However, it's honestly a great 350. And it's also really good because there's a really weird light changing trend going on. You know, we see a lot of the Air Force Ones and these ones supposedly are light changing. First of all, the whole sneaker is kind of styled in this base of white. So it's almost like a cream color with the new styling with some hints of like the, of a yellowish cream. But the classic Yeezy 350 stripe is color changing. It changes from kind of like that cream color to an orange which is really, really dope. And honestly, I like how it looks with like the white and the orange stripe. These sneakers are planning to release on August 28th with the retail price of $220. I do expect to sell it like all Yeezys do and resale prices may hit $300 for these sneakers. Maybe even more of this light color changing trend continues. And my final opinion to the sneaker, it's not every day where I say a new pair of Yeezys is dope, but this one is. This one is a dope. And that about wraps up our list of dope or nope. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm, and last but certainly not least, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.